Women's History Month celebrates contributions of women to culture and society. The people here in Southern California are very familiar with seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones, but you may not know how she changed the way people prepare and respond to earthquakes. KCAL News reporter Donya Backus has her story. When it comes to earthquakes, one should always be preparing for a big one. Dr. Lucy Jones is who Californians have turned to for information for more than 30 years. It is not on the San Andreas Fault. As a world renowned seismologist, she's brought comfort and counsel to a rattled public. But even she'll tell you she never imagined a career like this. Absolutely not. I mean, a research scientist, recognition is having your paper cited in some other paper. And that's what I would, I thought I was going to be. Growing up, she wanted to become an astrophysicist, but in college decided on geophysicist. It was then she realized she was breaking barriers. I was always the only woman in my physics classes as an undergraduate. And when I got to MIT, there was one woman in seismology. If anything, it fueled me. And again, it, my parents, especially my father, it was like, yeah, women don't do science, but you're my daughter. My daughter's going to do it. And she's shown women belong in science. Through her decades of research and public advocacy for risk reduction, she's been able to change policy and create the great shakeout, now a worldwide earthquake drill. Did you ever think you would have an impact like this? It's hard to know what impact you're having at this stage. You know, I would like to think there's a difference. Her next mission? Using music to bring together scientists, artists, and people from around the world in hopes of inspiring understanding and action on climate change. How would you like to be remembered? I want to be remembered as a scientist rather than just a communicator, but a scientist who cared about the science getting used. And it's her use of science that will help us in the future. Donya Backus, KCAL News.